Hello to you from Milan, a city synonymous with high fashion. The stadium might not be fashionable anymore, but it remains iconic, the San Siro. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League, the group stage and match day one. My goodness, so much to look forward to. It's Milan facing Salzburg. Well, Derek, although the hosts are clear favourites, this could prove to be a tricky game for them unless they score an early goal because their opponents will sit deep, remain compact and defend with determination. They also pose a threat on the counter-attack and are really good at set plays. It's going to be an interesting one. Here's the Milan team. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Sandro Tonali plays alongside Ismael Benasser in central midfield. And leading the line today, Olivier Giroud. And the starting 11 for Salzburg. Well, the wide midfield players and the fullbacks need to have a good understanding here. If the midfield players tuck in, then the fullbacks need to get forward into the space they vacate, just to give them some attacking width. It's the opening match day. Champions League group stage match day one underway now the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick and he gets away with a warning here in my view that's good refereeing strong but not officious Giving the ball away. Intelligent threaded pass here. Leal. Tonali with it. Oh, it might be. And the keeper there to deal with it. Well, they fancy a short one. Leal is still alive. And in the end, no damage done. Well, so close to seeing an early goal here. It's a great save, you have to say. Well, as spectacular as the save was, it can't be just about their stellar keeper. They know that. Ulmer. Well, they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. And the post getting in the way. On a time for composure on the ball. Well, they won't come closer than that. So unlucky not to take the lead there. Giroud. Brahim Diaz now. Well, he stopped them just when they looked menacing. Plenty of running room in the wide position. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Brahim. Messias. 
Milan moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Excellent defending. Sucic. Oh, surely! Well, body in the way. And it should have been the first goal of the game. Well, I can't believe that chance has been squandered. That should have been the opener. Rafael Leao. The Rossoneri pushing forward with options available. But really sticking to the task defensively. Umar Soleil. It's with Verber. Showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up. And good work to deny the chance. Now sending it in. And no-nonsense defensive clearance. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, nicely cut out. Andreas Ulmer. And options in the centre. Well, let's get more details on the injury situation from our pitch side reporter, Jeff Shreves. We're going to have to wait and see the extent of this injury because his foot was trodden on in that last challenge. So we'll have to wait and see as just to how serious this is. Cheers, Jeff. Junior Messias. This looks interesting. Leal. Can he put them in front? Well, it was a wonderful chance, but the goalkeeper comes through. Yes, Derek, we have to give credit to the keeper, but surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. It's a short one. Leal. Determined defending. It's one corner after another. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. Over it comes. Well, not the best clearance. Determined defending. Behind for another corner. Can they cash in? It's a short corner. Well, they'll try to keep the pressure on in the form of another corner. Keen to take it short here. Hernandez. Leal. Superb block. Giroud, Diaz, and keeping it out. <laughs> a 
And short it is. Leal. Top class defending. Oh, did so well to deny him. And played short. Diaz. And quite simply, wide of the target. Sucic. Are getting the ball forward. Magnificent defending. Olivier Giroud. Well, if you're wondering about added time, two minutes it'll be. Now he must favour the cross. And he saw the situation developing. And no way through. And there we have it. The first half comes to an end here at the San Siro. Well, he's been a long way from his best up front, Stuart. Yeah, you're right. He's looked a bit lethargic today. I'd like to see him demanding the ball more, working the defenders harder. And unless he does that, I can't see him affecting the scoreline here. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Rafael Leao. Hernandez. Leao. And blocked for now. Giroud. Can they forge ahead? And a big chance at that, Derek. He should have put them in the driving seat there. Well, those stats tell the story. Milan have been on top and created lots of chances, but their finishing has been really disappointing so far. Okafor in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Possession one, and the flag does go up offside. <laughs> Messias. Now Giroud. How about the cross? Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Benasser, can he put it away? A goal to give them a 1-0 lead. An excellent value for that advantage, you've got to say. Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. But you do have to ask questions of the keeper. Could he have done better here?
I think so. You can't be beaten at your near post like that. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Solé. On the ball, Noah Okafor. And possibilities inside the box. Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? And the keeper showing tremendous command. So a personnel change then. Who can he pick out? Well cleared away. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Giroud. Messias. Now Milan could be onto something. He's protecting it effectively. And possession given away. Okafor. Sucic. And space to cross it. That's well blocked. Well, failure to keep the ball by Salzburg. And the counter attack is on. Options available. Leal. And they need to get tighter here. Might it be Olivier Giroud? And the keeper there to deal with it. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Played over. And he clears the danger. Rafael Leao. Leao, a real opening now. And there it is! A two-goal cushion now. And they just need to keep the concentration. Well, just look at this again. It's so hard to knock off the ball once he gets going. Of course the defending could be better, but that's a great individual goal. Two nil here, and the ball is moving again. Moving into the advanced position. He must finish! A goal! Just what they needed! Still plenty of life in this match! Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. And the ball is moving again. Anyone's guess how this is going to finish? 2-1 currently. Teo Hernandez. Brahim Diaz now. Diaz. 
and given away by Milan. And forward they go, chasing the game. This could level it. And with that, they thwarted the opportunity. Well, Milan are nearly there, and their fans know it. Just listen to the support they're giving their team. Not long left now. Well, when you can keep the ball like this, it's got to be really annoying for the opposition. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Oh, moving it nicely. Well, no problems defensively. Now a decent position. And they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Into the advanced position. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Not messing around with that clearance. Really vital interception. As far as stoppage time is concerned, three minutes here. Junior Messias. Chance to play it in. And the cross not sufficiently well played in. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up. And now both will rely on their respective benches. Short corner, let's see. That's how to rob them of possession. So full time it is, and a morale boosting three points on the board to begin the European campaign. Yeah, that's a good win and a vital three points. Another win next time out, and they'll be in a great position. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, that was a great performance. His understanding of how to find space was brilliant today. And, of course, he scored two really good goals.